We are ready to make our German chocolate filling. So over medium heat, I am going to combine my evaporated milk, granulated sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a quick stir so that I don't have uh, my granulated sugar coming into direct contact contact with my egg yolks. Remember that sugar is hygroscopic and it will dehydrate the yolks and uh, we will get those hard dried clumps. Drop my egg yolks in, stir that up, just get those broken apart. and my butter. So I went ahead and uh, got my butter in some smaller chunks so that that will melt a little more evenly and a little more quickly. So all I'm gonna do for this mixture is over medium heat, I'm gonna be stirring constantly. I'm gonna stir this until it is 195 degrees. So uh, yes, this is much higher than uh, what we would usually cook a custard to. So if you remember from stirred custards, um, we would cook those to 185. That would be um, our maximum temperature where we know that our eggs are at full coagulation. Um, this one we are taking higher. So it is really important that we are keeping this mixture moving the entire time and uh, I am using my spatula to really scrape the bottom of this pot so that I know that there's nothing sticking to the bottom and I won't get any burn spots or any spots that are over coagulated and starting to get lumps in there. So I'm going to continue cooking this uh, until it comes up to 195. That is below 212, so you should not see this mixture boiling. If you're starting to see bubbles or simmering in any way, that means your heat is way too high. So keep an eye on that. This should be a nice, gentle process. It'll probably take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, just depending on exactly how high your heat is. Um, yes, you could absolutely do this over a double boiler if you are a little worried about having your heat too high. It just takes a a lot longer you're looking at somewhere in about the half an hour range um, so this is a lot more efficient um, you just have to keep a closer eye on it so I'm just gonna keep this going and until I bring this up to temp into my mixing bowl so I could stop the cooking process. Um, I don't want to leave it in that pot because of carryover cooking and I could start to curdle um, what's in contact with the bottom of the pot. So to this mixture I'm going to add my unsweetened coconut flakes. I do prefer the unsweetened just because there's already so much sugar in this recipe and my pecan pieces and finally my vanilla. I'm gonna use a paddle attachment 
to mix this until it is on uh, until it is room temperature. So right now this is really really hot. Um, so I'm going to start mixing this, and the coconut is actually going to start to absorb a lot of moisture. So um, this would take a really long time for this to cool down naturally. So the beating of this is going to really help drop the temperature down. <laughs> It's been about uh, seven minutes now and my filling has come to room temperature. Um, it is still a little on the soft side, so you can see here, it kind of will move around a little bit. Um, so if I was gonna use this as a filling in a cake, I definitely wanna chill this overnight or for several hours um, to get it to firm up a little bit. And then that way, as I'm using it as a filling layer, it's not moving around or um, being squeezed out of the cake or getting compressed. Um, if I just wanna use this as um, maybe a topping, I have a loaf cake, um, or if I'm using it as a filling for cupcakes where they're gonna have a little reservoir, I can go ahead and I can use this right now. As this continues to sit, the coconut will continue to draw in uh, more of that liquid. So it will continue to thicken as this sits. Uh, this is a filling that actually freezes really well. So usually if I'm gonna go to the trouble to make it, um, I'll make more than what I need because I know that I can freeze that for a couple of months um, and that it will be fine. If you're gonna keep this in the refrigerator, refrigerator, I would say no more than a week. And uh, it's a really delicious filling. Um, it's gonna complement our chocolate cake and our chocolate French buttercream really well.